Okay, folks, uh, this is um, your night vision add on kit. This kit we make ourselves here. And basically, it's going to give you a quick rundown on what way you fit this and what way it comes and how you install it to your, um, your rifle. Uh, uh, this is a CZ uh, uh, 527, it's the uh, 223 model, which is a, a fantastic rifle for fox shooting. Um, so, uh, your kit will come, your, uh, your battery bank, this is, uh, it holds eight a um, uh, Duracell batteries. We recommend Duracell because uh, there is other rechargeable banked batteries out on the market, uh, cheaper Chinese make, and uh, they, they're, not, they're not very reliable. They don't hold their charge that very well, and sometimes they, they pulse the power, which can uh, affect not only your camera, but it, it, it quite possibly could uh, blow your... Um, or your monitor so here it is basically bank battery eight batteries in as they go like that um, the simple little uh, velcro system that it uh, it velcros to the side wall of the the the, um, the rifle itself so um just get to have a look at that just simply just clip that velcros on like that does the trick easy to access the on off switch um, you, it comes. The kit comes with uh, the little uh, scope mounted rail, new one. It'll suit 25 and 30 mil uh, tubes of the scope. Uh, here we, ha we have on uh, this one, we, ha we have the rail already fitted in place, which is, um, as you can see, we've, ki we've kept it uh, well back on it. But you can put it forward or back, whatever place suits yourself. Um, it comes with an adjustable bracket that slots onto the, the, the rail itself, so you can have the, the monitor back or forward, whichever suits your, your taste itself. So we just tighten that up on there. The, the monitor uh, is very easy to release and uh, uh, to um, pop off, and it's uh, very flexible as well, so it's able to take a bit of a knock because you're going to be getting in now your, your, your car or van or Jeep or whatever you use. Um, uh, your camera's here with your with your silicone tube. As I said, there's a slot inside in the tube to allow uh, on this rifle anyway to allow the bolt slide back cleanly by the scope that it doesn't interfere with the with the um, uh, with with the silicone tube itself. So we we'll just slide this on here. The rifle will be the tube will be marked so you know what way to put the monitor on, so that the monitor uh, the the camera on, so that the camera's going to be facing upright. So it is. Um, very simple power pack connection, slip in your wires there, get them in nice and neat that you don't be catching them off on like this. Um, if, uh, if your image is blur, so when you put this on first, right, I'm hoping you just slow down here with the camera, so we just trip it on there now. So you can see it's uh, showing up the, the, the crosshairs, you can, adjust, you can adjust it slightly, there is a bit of play in it, so you do, uh, because the tubes of the rifle is very different size, so you can adjust it slightly so you can get the crosshairs as best you can on the screen like this here and um, you know then if the crosshairs are blur so if you put, uh, put on your, your camera and uh, put on your monitor and you realize the, the, the visibility on this is not very clear there's a very simple process to, to get this right um, and that is uh, when you slide off the silicone tube itself what you can see in here is is there's you can see the little camera there and the little camera has an adjustable lens. So this 16 mm adjustable lens can rotate in and out. So what you do is get your scope uh, and your rifle, and during the daytime, it's best to do this. Put the kit together, turn it on, and see how clear the crosshairs are. If the crosshairs are blurred, or your visibility is blurred, adjust this camera, let's say a quarter of a turn to a half turn each time. Put the kit back together, and then when you have it back together, get, get, get it as clear as possible. Don't try to do this at night because it, it, it'll be very difficult to do uh, and it'll be frustrating as well to, to get to get uh, fit, fit correctly. But uh, we have it here now. Uh, we have adjusted it uh, uh, to the best of our ability here. It's uh, very clear. And we'll just slot the whole thing back together. It slides onto our, our tube. It slides onto our tube. And um, we, as I said, we get... A good clear crosshairs in the in the camera itself, and it um, it means that you can you can get on your target very very easily. 
when you set your uh, scope up, always have the at, at minimal zoom. Do because if you see a fox or whatever you want to shoot in the field, if you have a minimal zoom, you have a broader spectrum of the field, so you can zone in, uh, you can zoom in on the target uh, very easily. So uh, here I do always keep it back to minimum zoom. You spot your fox with your standard red hunting light or white hunting light, whatever you use. Then you uh, you find your fox in the field, get him on the crosshairs. Uh, Zoom in on them until you get very, uh, close in on them, uh, uh, and the fox will actually be, you know, the full size of the screen. So be, it's very easy to take your target then, um, uh, and the chance you're missing is slim. That's pending your rifle is zero, of course. Um, it's uh, uh, basically that's it. It's uh, it, it, it's a very very effective kit. Um, it's uh, it's very safe as well as you can easily identify. Uh, other other animals in the field, other objects as well. So, uh, and just make sure you always have a safe backdrop with your shot.